The guy in that video is Terrain Woods. Now, because of his history, security surrounded him at his sentencing and his hands and feet were handcuffed, but he still went after prosecutors when he heard he could be in prison for more than 20 years. This was a violent outburst. This was an attack. Uh, he tried to physically hurt my prosecutors. Let's go back. I want to show you what happened last Thursday right before this. So how many years is that? You can't see Terrain Woods, but you can hear him asking exactly how long his sentence is. It's 8 to 20 plus a 1 to 3. That's 9 to 23 years total for child abuse. You hear a woman shrieking. That was Mr. Woods' mother. And then obviously all hell broke loose at that point. District Attorney Steve Wolfson told Fox 5 Woods went after his team. Well, my prosecutors were a little shook up. Uh, one of my prosecutors had a chair, you know, bang up against him. But Woods attorney Michael Troiano told us he doesn't think Woods would have or even could have hurt them. He just had a freak out and just wanted to just cause havoc. I looked into Woods' criminal history. He's been arrested several times, including for murder in 2012. But Troiano says what's not on paper are Woods' mental health issues. His mother states around the age of five is when she really started noticing some issues in psychosis. Woods actually it out during the trial. He continually had outbursts and incidents and it, while he was actually in custody he was placed in a you know, maximum security area. That's why a team of corrections officers surrounded Woods at his sentencing. They cuffed his hands and feet. And then what is definitely not usual is they bound his hands almost in mittens so he's not able to manipulate his fingers. But this still happened. <laughs> it's rare. Uh, but it only takes one uh, to wake everybody up and say, wow. And now Wolfson doesn't think Woods will face any more charges for the outburst because his sentence is already a long one. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, a local Las Vegas.